Hi, everyone. My name is Paul Buffa, and I'm the head of product education at Observable. Today, we're going to talk about how you can use D3 and SQL notebooks to quickly iterate on visualizations. Here I have opened an Observable notebook with a D3 visualization at the top here, this little line chart, and a SQL query, which I can scroll down below to show you. This SQL query is using the Pizza Paradise dataset, which is a mock dataset we've made. It's part of our curated dataset, so you can easily use it in notebooks for examples and demo purposes. And I'm running a SQL query against it to pull the average orders by different pizza categories over time. Now, I've used the output of this query called orders for my D3 visualization, which you can see above. So what's really nice about this is that as I start iterating on the data set, figuring out the right cuts of the data, how large to make it, maybe change the time frame, I can just adjust the SQL query. I don't actually have to touch any JavaScript code. This can be really nice because JavaScript can be a little tricky sometimes when wrangling data. So here I've actually limited to the top 100 rows. I can just remove this filter. And now it's going to pull the entire data set, which is 3,288 rows. And we can see my visualization is updated. Now you might notice that the lines look a little strange here. They're kind of jumping around a bit. And if you're an experienced data viz developer, you'll probably know why. Uh, often this happens when the data is not sorted correctly. So, you know, previously before using Observable, I might have had to write some JavaScript code to figure out how to sort the data correctly so it doesn't create this. But now I can just actually update my SQL query and write order by two, that'll be the order date uh, ascending. And just rerunning that, you'll now see my visualization is updated. So I can do a bunch of different changes to my SQL query to really change this visualization. So right now it's pulling orders by day, which you know is pretty noisy given sort of day of week seasonality changes. So if I want to, I can just update this query to maybe group by instead of date by maybe week. So I'll use a date trunk function and we'll say week. And for now, I'll just call it the same thing. It's called order date. And now you'll see that my visualization has a lot fewer records. There's, there's only 471 rows now. And the visualization is updated, right? It's a lot less noisy. It's a little bit easier to see some of the trend lines here. So this can be really nice, again, when you're iterating on visualizations and you've got to do a lot of data wrangling to handle that in SQL. So you don't have to get into any JavaScript code to make those changes. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos on how to use D3 in Observable.